Okay, so five storylines real quick to get us ready for opening day. I figure if we're going to do opening day, you got to do it. Run one of our classic opens, s Rod. <laughs> Pull up a chair because class is in session. Raise your hand if you have a question. He's been up all night with a pen and pad. If you didn't make the cut, then don't be mad. It takes a lot of work so that this could exist. Ladies and gents, we present... The D-List. All right, five things I'm looking forward to on opening day today. Number one, it's time to clear customs, Toronto. The story's been cute, but at the end of the day, can you overtake the New York Yankees? On paper, I think you look like the better club yeah. coming into the season. I mean, you boast two guys at the top of the rotation with Manoa and Gosman that can pitch to one. Your lineup's deep. You switched it up righty-lefty. Hey, being around these Cardinal players in the WBC, they're my sleeper potential win-it-all team that no one's going to talk about. Like if Jack Flaherty's right, the Tommy Edmonds of the world, Tyler O'Neill, <laughs> he's doing it. Jordan Walker made the beast. team out of spring training. Beast. Absolute beast. They could figure out a way. Miles Michaelis is all man, people. And Helsley <laughs> at the back end of that bullpen. The new rules. Like I said, talking to a lot of guys in the dugout, they're in on the pitch clock. Clear cleaning up some of the uh, the dead time. They're in on the shifts. Guys are rolling balls through <laughs> the right side there. You're seeing Matt Olson and Corey Seager, guys like that, having better spring trainings average-wise. So I think we're in on it. My big thing, when you look at it on paper, it's San Diego's time. Mm -hmm. I think the Dodgers have left themselves vulnerable, whether they want to admit it or not. And the Dodgers... Their lineup is just unbelievable at the top. They have the rotation, they have the bullpen, all the pieces to overtake yep. the Dodgers in the NL West. And for me, I think the Angels, Perry Manazzi and Phil Nevin, they got a chance to do something special this year. I like their ball club on paper. They're better. Lineup's deeper, better. Reed Detmers is going to take a step forward behind Otani. Trout's an absolute monster. But that's what we will be talking about the entire season. Otani's a unicorn. To watch it on display firsthand. Yeah. I mean, you can argue best player of all time. That's where that's where we're going, right? He's the 40 plus homers, the number one starter. I want to see what the whole thing is about him because I feel like teams have started to already position themselves to make a run at him for next year. But I think the Angels are going to have an interesting season, stay in the fight. I love that list, and it's an impossible one to put together. I was thinking the Mariners would be on there. I remember when Cal Raleigh hit that home the run. The big dumper. Yeah, yeah, we kept saying, is it fair? Is it fair? And this guy's just going to take the next step forward. Remember Dave Sims on the call? Oh, my gosh. It felt like they celebrated for 10 minutes when the drought was over in Seattle. I just feel like this, with Luis Castillo there for a full year, Guys, limit. That, that's kind of where my eye goes right away for this season. What about you? I, I think that the stolen bases, what you touched on, uh, d -Row, with the new rules, the bigger bases, and also I think because of the limitations in shifts, you're going to see athleticism be praised, be, be put at a premium in baseball in a way that I don't think we've seen mm -hmm. in a long, yeah. long time. So I'm eager to see guys showcasing the athleticism, the speed, the ability to go first and third, steal bases, make def great defensive plays, deep in the hole at short. You don't have 13 guys on one side yeah. of the infield anymore.